Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It was a subscription box Sunday. Jabs Family $99 subscription box came through. We got some packs. What did we find? Ray Yu out of 75 out of the UK pack. Reynolds with a foil. Crochet of purple. Hot box. Mirrored out of Alan Ginter. We got a Satchel Page die cut and a Beau Bichette out of the update series of 2021. Some turkey red out of 2020. We got the Biggio finally. We got some short prints out of the Heritage Blaster Box. NL MVP, Clemente. All right. We got three foil, a poster card, Cronenworth Shining Star, and two fat heads out of the Archives Blaster. Check out Jabs on YouTube. In the meantime, like, share, subscribe, and follow. Boss Man out. Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It's a subscription box Sunday, and Jab subscription came through just in time. $99 Patreon subscription box. So we're going to check it out. I'm happy to have you along this Sunday. Let's see what we got. How is your Sunday going? Anything special going on? Are you busy watching college basketball and some playoff football? Baseball is kind of still on the back burner with the lockout going on. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. So, in the meantime, we still got cards. Yeah, yeah. Not going com uh, through complete uh, baseball withdrawal with this. So, here we are. What are your feelings on the lockout? Where are you standing on it? What have you heard? Anything? Hmm. So, this is... We're going to actually open it up because he usually has like a little thing inside to explain better than I could off the top of my head what his subscription box is all about. All right. So, Patreon, January 2021. Ooh, Jabs, you need to fix that. It's 2022. Uh, $99.99 donation. Access to all Patreon exclusive postings. Access to all Patreon exclusive videos and live streams. Access to all live case breaks and video sponsorships, uh, plus six newer packs of unopened baseball cards, two sealed blaster boxes, one fat pack or hanger box, and uh, or note, eight newer packs will be included this month if fat pack or hanger is not available. All right, cool. So there you go. That's the info. I'm going to set it right up there. He goes through Patreon. It's a third party. It just makes it easier for him, I'm sure, keeping track of things. What do we got? All right, we've got a Heritage Hanger Box, an Archives Hanger Box. We've got, move that box to the side now, Series 2, high number. Now, these are Hobby a UK. I don't have any UK. Now, he did a box break yesterday, or a box wars yesterday on UK. I was kind of tempted to get into it, but I moved on. <laughs> uh, two update series and a 2020 baseball series, too. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we will get into this. We'll have some fun. Let me correct everything it's kind of off centered here all right so except for the uk i've opened up a little bit of all of this um all right let's get to it two blaster boxes a fat pack you know what? let's get into the the archives uh baseball first i'm gonna just while i'm here heritage high number um all tops, so all licensed. That's good. I know some in the in the hobby really care about that. Um, I'm not one that's particularly in the care for it, but one of my issues with uh, Panini is well, first off the price. Uh, the flashiness, it's almost like they're trying too hard. Um, that's just my personal feeling on Panini. Um, 
It's not that they're not licensed. It's just they're trying too hard. They've also killed uh, basketball card collecting for me. I've been collecting basketball cards since I was a kid. And they're just, they killed it. I hope Fanatics can fix it. Um, yeah, we'll see. All right, so with Archives, you're supposed to get at least three exclusive foil, um, the big foil cards. Now, they're not actually big, but back in the day, they were. So that's why they're called big foil cards. Um, they were oversized. Not to the point where they were considered oversized, but they were too big for um, card sleeves. So that's why they're called big foil. Okay, so we're cracking into this archives blaster. Out of blaster, I found a couple of numbered cards. I found one auto. Um, some of the blue foils, those are nice. I see a foil right there. Regular silver. Um, let's see, what else have I found? I have archives. I found a, a one of those mini big foil cards, so eighty nine style, that was said, "Hey, you got a certified autographed card." It was a Mar Mariano Rivera, except there was no auto. Apparently, that's kind of normal. Something that they're going through. All right, so let's get in to see what we do have here. Pete Alonso, Manny Machado, Luis Patino. Okay, Marquez, Johnson. So our first one is a Chris Sale. Nice. Okay. We're just going to kind of skim through. I'm sure most of us have seen these before. I'll go slow enough to where hopefully I won't miss anything. And if there's something that you noticed, you'll be able to still have, have time to get it. So, Mankata. Nice. That's two of them. Okay. The Archives Blaster Boxes, um, I've been able to find at Walmart. Haven't been able to find anything at Target. Um, my Target apparently is a target of people who think they can still flip this stuff. All right, we got a big head. Chris Bryant. It's a peel-off, but I call it big head. <laughs> uh, so, yes, Archives is where they go through and they pick out... Um, series from the past and they reproduce it with new players in the old style and old players in the new styles that's kind of a cool concept all right we're coming through to the end matthewson judge dylan carlson nice so a couple of big heads okay so that's archives Nothing too spectacular, but nothing short from what you're already guaranteed. So there you go. Archives box, about $20. Um, 24 or 22 after taxes, at least here in California. All right. Let's get these foils sleeved up. Mankata. Yep. Chris Sale. Hey, the Uncle Larry poster card. The Cronenworth Shining Star. That's nice. That's nice. We'll get that sleeved up. Chris Bryant with the peel off. Okay, 69 PO peel off. And the Dylan Carlson. Nice. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad for our first blaster. Okay, and we'll leave we'll leave the World Series champ up top, Ozzy Albi. All right, let's get to Heritage. This is Heritage High Number, um, so Series Two. This is where you're going to get some more of the individual rookie cards in the first first grouping. You know, they had the two to three players per box or per uh, card for the rookies, the team rookie card. But here in second set or high number, um, you actually get the individual player. So that's nice. 
Okay, we'll set that box right there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look for real one autograph or relics. Now, I've opened up, I think, two Heritage High Number Blasters. Uh, I don't think I've found any autos, and I have not found any relics. Ooh. Okay, we got something. Blue. Okay, kind of curious and interested to get to that. <laughs> ah, so what's going on with your Sunday? Are you a football fan and had your heart broken last night by the Packers or Titans? And I caught eh, about four minutes of the game. So I'm here in California, so everybody has the Niners game on. And, uh, yep. That's about all the playoff football I've watched so far. I think it's Tampa Bay and Saint or uh, Tampa Bay and Los Angeles, the Rams, for for the NFC and who's in the AFC? Um, Kansas City and oh, Kansas City is going against somebody. <laughs> all right, well, back to the baseball stuff, the baseball cards. David Price. Weidner, rookie card. So yeah, like I said, this is where you started actually getting the individual rookie cards. Espinal, Hewer, Honeywell, okay, Goudeau. Let's see. Now with this, you have short print numbers. Uh, that's where I think it's six, seven to 725. It's the later numbers. Um, with all of, you know, uh, tops, you can always just look in the back at the, at the code and they'll tell you if it's a specialty or not. Roberto Clemente, third three homer of the third home run of the game. Nice. I can read honest. <laughs> Alex Karoloff rookie. Nice. I still got high hopes for him. Good young ball player. All right, let's turn it over. So, you see there the 78? 79. Okay. Yeah, 79. You're looking for something other than for that. Like when we come up to the Clemente, you'll see a different code. I'm not seeing any. And so those are all, oh, there we go, 713, so 787, that's the code you're looking for, for anything 701 to 725 or 750. Okay, so we got one short print out of that, cool, all right, we'll set that up there. Heritage really doesn't have anything too flashy in it. Who is that rookie? Ona, Rodriguez, Weigel, Apostle. Okay, Jonathan India, your NL Rookie of the Year. Now the Kevin Bichio, nice. They had forgotten to actually put this in uh, the first set. So they went back. They said, hey, sorry, our bad. Of course, after so many people kept buying more and more boxes to find the 216. Then all of a sudden they say, oh, yeah, it'll come out with the second. It'll come out with a high number. We forgot to print it. Right. Of course you did. Good marketing. I see what you're doing there, Tops. All right. Jazz Chisel. Nice. And... NL MVP award winner. So that was what the blue card I saw was. All right. Gordon, Marquez, Trump, Moniac, Scrub, Paredes. Okay, some good young rookies. Alejandro Kirk. Nice. All right, let's see. Did, how many short prints did we get in these? 
We'll take a quick look. Lance Lynn, 709. All right. So that's two. You usually get two to four. And it's looking like we're getting three. <laughs> All right. So three short prints. Nice. You know what? I'm going to go back in that first deck and find the Roberto Clemente. 3,000 hits. Boom. There we go. I think that was it. I didn't see any color variation. I didn't see any action. Um, so there you go. If I'm really looking for the French backs, I'll go back and look for them. All right. Lance Lynn, our three short prints. That's good. Kevin Biggio, nice. I can finally put to rest the first uh, first set. I not found Kevin Biggio in this high number yet. So now we have. In fact, because I've been looking, waiting so long, boom, we're going to put him right on top. <laughs> All right, where to next? Shall we go... 2021 update. Here we go. What do we got? The hit rate in this is, I think, one in every eight packs. Okay. Bo Bichette All Star Game. Okay. Look on the back for any short prints. And, nope. All right. So we got the all-star game. Let's get into the second pack. What do you say? All right. Kramer. Davies, Williams, Gonzalez. And, boom. Satchel Page. Platinum player. Yes, indeed. All right. And that's that. Satchel page. Nice. We'll get the inserts sleeved up. Go on in. The die cuts, you know, they're a little bit more difficult to toss in. But we got it. Bobachette All-Star. Nice. Dig in that. Right, boom. Let's lower that just a little bit so we can see all the packs here. All right, Alan Ginter. Ooh, okay, we got a myriad right off the bat. Joey Votto, I see. Harper, Betts, Soler, Stauskas, Strasburg, Baines. Okay, De Jong. He's our mini. Okay. I I've got um what do I have? I've got uh the the, the tobacco uh sleeves on back order through BCW. Still waiting on those. These mini cards look really great in those tobacco car uh tobacco sleeves. Um just kind of makes it look real sharp. I know some people don't care for the minis. I don't go out of my way to find them, but I'm still going to make it look good in my collection. Maybe we'll do that for a flashback Friday next week, where we'll actually pull out one of these boxes, and we'll see what, what I got from whatever year it is that we decide. Um, yeah, unless I find something in between now and then, or if something fresh comes out and we end up doing a fresh Friday. So Fridays, Fresh Friday, or Flashback Friday. All right, we're back to Heritage High Number. This is from a hobby box. Okay, let's see. Ooh, he had a hot box. Go get yourself a Jabs $99. He had a hot box somewhere in there. There we go. Okay, Joe 
Michael Musgrave, Dunning. Who did we get? Crochet. Nice. A crochet. Purple. Nice. Okay. I will hit him up uh, tonight in his uh, auction. Let him know. Hey, thanks for the hot box pack. Sweet. <laughs> so on one of the parts of the Patreon thing is uh, you are able to get into auctions. Or, like I've done and we've talked about on this channel, you can actually win whole cases of cards in his box wars. I've won three. All right. Series two. Let's see, what did I win? I won a case of optic, a case of mosaic, and a case of chrome. That's pretty cool to me. You buy into a couple of packs, and if you get the lowest numbered card, you keep the whole case. Pretty awesome. All right. Series two. It's been a while since I've opened up some series two. What do we got? Some great rookies are in here. Okay. Brian Reynolds Rainbow and a Bregman 86 All Star. Okay. And that's that. All right. Let's get Bregman sleeved up and Reynolds sleeved up. Now, all the other cards I'm going to see if I need in my collection. I know I don't need Series 2. I've got that whole series. I don't need update. I've got that whole series. Some of uh, the heritage, some of the archives, I do still need. Now, this, this is special. UK edition. Okay, United Kingdom. You can get some really big cards out of these packs. Let's see what we got. Last pack. Boom. So they got the... The old Union Jack up there. Simeon, Nico Horner, Sager, Garcia, Samora. Okay, Anderson. We got something blue here. Juan Soto with the flag. Ooh, blue Jay, Ryu. Okay, that is numbered at a 75. Nice. Okay, all right, we will sleeve that one up. In fact, I'm going to sleeve all of those up because I know I do not have them in my PC. So there we go. Subscription Box Sunday. Jabs Family, $99.99 Patreon uh, membership. Very cool. Love it. Uh, oh, wait, what am I talking about? I still got to do the 2020 Series 2. Oh my goodness. All right, in this pack, one exclusive Empire State Award winner card inside. I think I've gotten a couple of... Uh, David Wrights. I think both times I've opened up this pack. So, you know, the old home run challenge. They had it in here. Look for winning tickets for the celebration of the decade. Let's see what we can find. Now, I know I don't need the base. I've got the whole set. All right, let's see. We'll go through. We'll see what we can find with the rookies. Glenn of the Shields, Eaton Hap. And there really weren't too many rookies in this set because it was 2020 and they had to cut the season short. Okay, usual tops uh, thing where it's going in all different directions. Well, at least it's not as bad as Upper Deck used to be, where it was both backwards and forwards and upside down. And <laughs> Kyle Seeger just retired. Reese Hoskins out of Sacramento. Okay. Josh Donaldson, Philly Special. Sorry for the glare. We are not at the studio. Juan Soto now. Nice. Ooh. Significant statistics. Nice. Pete Alonzo. <laughs> All right. Turkey Red. Edmund Johnson. Okay. Got a rookie here. Gratal. Nice. That's a good rookie to have. Robles and Altuve finishing it off. 
I mean, were there any other cards? Eh, this is number 10. <laughs> All right. Well, that will do it. We'll call it a day with that. <laughs> Three of those packs. I've gotten Pete Alonzo every time. <laughs> All right. Well, you got to have fun with it. I hope you had fun watching. This is Boss Man here, Boss Man Sports Cards. Today was a subscription Sunday, and we got Jab's $99 subscription box. Have a great rest of your weekend. Boss Man out.